It's my favorite story. It's got money, betrayal, love, and possibly even some sex. And it starts off with a young man going to his father and saying, I wish you were dead. I don't care about you. I just want what I get when you die. And I want it now. The father is just struck with grief and bewilderment that his son would say such a thing. But he gives his son what he deserves. And the son sets out to live his life, leaving his father just hurt and saddened and his brother trying to hold down the family business. Well, the young man goes off and enjoys his life a little too much. Lots of late night parties, plenty of loose women, endless alcohol, lots of friends needing to borrow some money. But with the downturn in the economy and not paying close attention to his trust fund, he finds himself broke. His fair weather friends are nowhere to be found. The people he loaned his money to just don't have it anymore. Loose women don't find him too attractive without the money, and you can't buy alcohol on credit. He's flat broke in the city with no friends and no family and nowhere to go. So he does the unthinkable. He tries to find a job, but nobody will give him one, so he settles for one that only illegal immigrants take because it pays so horribly. It's so nasty that even Mike Rowe from Dirty Jobs would find it appalling. He is sunk to the lowest part of his life and honestly doesn't know how he got there. He thinks, even the people who work for my father live better than this. This sucks. Maybe I'll just go home and ask my dad for a job. I'll swallow my pride and maybe become a janitor in his office. So with his head hanging down low, he goes home. As he starts walking up the family driveway, his father looks out and sees him. His father's been waiting. Not to chew him out, not to chastise him, not to say, I told you so. His father's been waiting on him to come home. His father runs out, arms open wide, and embraces his smelly, uh, tattered, emaciated son. He says, I love you, my son. His son says, no, Dad, I'm not here, I'm not here to become your son again. I, I don't deserve that. I've done too much stuff. I have told you off. I have wasted half of everything you own. I'm just here to find a job. But his father won't have any, won't have that. His father says, you are my son. Nothing can change that you are my son. I'm just glad you're home. And he throws a huge party for all the neighborhood because he loves his son. Maybe you recognize the story. Jesus told it in Luke 15. It's the story of the prodigal son. And it is my favorite story. I think out of all the stories in the Bible, it's my favorite. Uh, even more so than Jesus' death and resurrection. Not because the, those stories are any less important. They're incredibly important. But the story of the prodigal son, it resonates with me. Because it's my story, to some extent. There have been plenty of times that I have just told God, you know what, forget you. I want to do things my way. I don't want to listen to you anymore. And I go off and enjoy myself for a time. And then reality sets in. And the pain that I've caused my, myself and other people, it becomes a harsh reality. And I find myself having no place to go but home. Maybe you've been there. Maybe you have told God forget you. But you know what? God doesn't forget you. You may forget God, but he never forgets about you. He's always looking on the horizon, waiting for you to come home. No matter what you've done, no matter where you've been, 
no matter who you've slept with or the things you've put in your body or uh, the horrible things you, you thought or did, God still loves you as his child. He created you to be that. And maybe you've never been that to him. But he's wet, ready and willing to take you in as his son or his daughter because he loves you. So what's your favorite story from the Bible or anywhere else? And why? Why is it your favorite? What deep meaning does it have to you? Leave it in a comment or a video response down below. But know that God is just waiting for you to take that first step to come home. God bless.